What's up everyone? Back today in the fish room. We got a new species in the fish room that I've never had before. So we're gonna have to set them up a new tank. Stick around to the end and see what we got. Alright guys, so today the tank we're going to be setting up for these new fish is this lower 40 gallon breeder right here. I know I said I was going to do a flower horn rack, but I don't have any plans in the near future to get another flower horn. Go ahead and add these new fish in there. And I know you're curious on what fish I got. And I got these beautiful star sapphire cichlids right here. They're about 5 to 6 inches. I only have 4 of them. Eventually, I'm going to put them in with my Starry Night Cichlids, but obviously I want to quarantine them first, and I don't have any other tanks because obviously these guys are in there, and they're a lot smaller, so I don't even want to risk it. So I'm just going to go ahead and set this tank up now for them. And But before we do that, i got to go ahead and steal the air pump that's below this tank. It's powering all these sponges on this tank. And I'm going to be upgrading to this one right here. Now this one says it does about four times as much, so hopefully I get a lot more flow. This is just an Amazon one, it was like 60 bucks, but yeah, hopefully it works as good as it says. And we're gonna give it a try and let you guys know. All right guys, so I got the new air filter hooked up and it's definitely more powerful, but I gotta say it's like three times as loud, so, but you can definitely see it blew all these chunks out of them sponge filters, so all the tanks kind of clouded up. It's also a probably sign that I need to do my maintenance and clean them. But it's all good. But this is the old filter, the old air pump that I used right here. It's a Pawfly MC3000. It's actually really quiet. You couldn't hear it, and it's plenty powerful. So I'm gonna use this for the two 40 gallons down there. I figured it should be a perfect matchup. I'll be able to add a couple air airlines and power uh, four sponge sponge filters with no problem. So I'm going to go ahead and hook this one up over there. And also what I'm going to use for filtration is I got some spi cycled sponge filters in these other tanks. I'm just going to rob from these and use those. And then it should be ready to go. I'm also thinking I'm going to probably use like, I don't know, maybe like, 20% of the water from this flower horn tank just so the temperatures are somewhat similar for the fish because I don't want to fill it up with 100% fresh water even though that there's really no beneficial reason to add water from an old tank to a new one but I'm just doing it for temperature reasons not for bacteria because bacteria is more on surfaces not in the water column so I'm gonna go ahead and get that started and see if I can get this camera set up to show you guys the process. So I got this tank filling with water. It's literally just siphoning from this tank. I'm also gonna go ahead and clean the glass before I add them fish because as you can tell, it's pretty dirty. But just simple steps out the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick the camera back up whenever I get the sponges pulled out and the air, fil uh, air pump hooked up, I should say. All right, so I have the uh, Star Sapphires all acclimated and ready to go in this new tank. I'm gonna add them in right now and then fill this tank up with fresh water. And I just figured I'd go ahead and do that first so then I could just acclimate them as I go with the fresh water, I should say. But as you can see, all that dirt came from these sponge filters. And it's that one in, predictor, in particular from Aquarium Co-op. I love the filters and everything about them, but the one thing is if you stir it up too bad in the water, it just releases everything it's been working so hard to clean up. So. But it's whatever, I'll go ahead and vacuum that out later. But I'm gonna go ahead and catch these guys out. Or attempt to. Can't even tell if I got one in here. Ooh, I got two of them. Look at them guys. Go ahead and drop them in here. Another new home. Now they're a little stressed out right now for obvious reasons, but. Duh. Hopefully here soon they should be coloring back up. Let's 
show you this guy. Oop. See oh the speckles. No. Never had these fish, so I'm pretty excited about them. And this is obviously not their per permanent home. I'm either going to add them in my basement 125 or with the Starry Nights. I haven't quite decided yet. But here's the fourth one right here. Alrighty. Yeah, he's a big guy right there. Alright, so I got the tank filling up, and I, while that's filling up, I figured I'd go ahead and give you guys a little QA time. So down here in this little 10 gallon, I have a, a Redfin Borelii, Borle, Borle, I think is how you pronounce it, sorry. You know I'd be having brain farts. But all right, so I have this beautiful fish down here. He's just about done the quarantine. Uh, let's see, yeah, there you go. You can kind of see him right there. So, <clears throat> my question is, should I add him into this tank right here? This is a 125 gallon Peacock and Hap and Starry Night tank. Or should I add them down here to my 125 gallon just Peacock and Hap tank? It's a hard decision because I already have a lot of red and everything in there, but I have no red up in this tank. But I think he might fit in down there, but then he might give some new flavor to this tank. I don't know. I've been going back and forth with myself. He's about time to get out of this 10 gallon. I'm sure he's probably more than ready to get out of there. So go ahead and drop down in the comments below and let me know what you guys think. Oh yeah, look at these little guys. These guys are doing really well. Look at them come up to my finger. I think they're eating. And I'm also ready to get these guys out of that little breeder box into the 10 gallon as well. These are uh, Lapidu Chromis Blue Otters. And I have a good amount of them guys. But yeah, go ahead, drop down below and let me know what you guys think I should do. And I'll pick the camera back up whenever I have this tank full of them ready to show. I also got this girl. This is a female ivory, ivory head mulatto that I got today as well from the guy with those uh, star sapphires. And this female's holding. So I'm going to go ahead and strip her before I add her in the tank real quick. And I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys this. I'm going to turn it around so you get a better view of everything. Yeah, you can see she's already starting to spit her babies. And all the eggs look fertile. These are gonna be some nice fry to grow out. Go ahead and see if I, ooh, ooh. It honestly looks like she spit them on. Yeah, I think she did. Yep, it looks like she didn't have that many in there, so. I'm going to go ahead and get her acclimated as well and put her in with that tank. But in future videos, what you guys can look out for is I'm going to be... i got some holding females down in there. i got some holding females in there. I'm going to be stripping them guys out. I'm going to be... Who knows? i got a few things in, in my mind to go ahead and do in the fish room. But you never know. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with everything. I also want to add more fish to this 90 gallon got a decent amount of fish in there as well oh yeah i haven't showed this guy yet this is a julie duchromis uh i think it's the mass something i don't know exactly off the top of my head i'd have to look it up see if i could add it in the video but this guy is super stunning this is from, he's from lake tanganyika <clears throat> but beautiful fish you see all my freaking tanks look like dookie butts but you'll have that Everything's kind of been moved around, new filters in and out. A new air filter is definitely blowing. So that's good. It's giving the giving these filters exactly what needed. Alright, I'll catch you guys here in a few whenever this is for now back to your regularly scheduled program. Alright guys, so I got the tank filled up. These guys look to be doing pretty good. Um they're obviously not colored up like they should be because they're pretty stressed. They just had a pretty good move. Um I still got to get a lid for this tank, so I haven't filled it up all the way as you can see. And probably a couple other things. I'm going to go get some PVC hides for this tank as well. But I just kind of had to do this on the fly because I wasn't expecting to get these guys. And I just couldn't pass them up when the opportunity came. So I went ahead and hopped on it. 
but yeah stay tuned for my next video whenever i show these guys they'll probably look 10 times better and also guys please let me know what you guys think i should do with that red fin borley eye um i gotta get him out of that tank here soon and i just don't know which tank i want to put him in look at these guys all follow me around these guys are looking really good if you watched my last video you'd see me add all these uh ob fry rise the platinum azules in this tank and the bod's the bod's do seem to be getting picked on a little bit in this tank see one's hiding out over here he's got a couple little bite marks on him which i've been trying to pay attention to make sure that it doesn't happen but it doesn't seem like anything new since when i first noticed it just the first day when i put him in so hopefully everything will be fine but worst case scenario i have to separate them or separate whoever's causing all the mayhem so all right so real quick i'll give you guys an update on my ambunas uh, i'm thinking about downsizing some of these bigger guys in here moving all the little lion's cove and afrikobus and uh super red top honkies from my 40 breeder into this tank so i'm thinking i'm gonna have to get rid of some of these bigger guys in this tank so if you are local and are interested in any of these guys go ahead and join my band app and pick some of these guys up and if you know what this guy is go ahead and give me an id down in the comments he's absolutely massive i'm talking this guy is probably at least eight inches long videos obviously don't do him justice but he is huge and don't mind the dirty glass you can see the water streaks but it's because these guys just splash like crazy watch oh they're gonna prove me to be a liar <laughs> but yeah of course they never do stuff on camera whenever you want them to these hongies will probably go to um, pretty much everything out of this tank besides the Galleria Reefs and the OBs are up for grabs probably so and I'll probably be keeping this little uh, hongi, red top hongi the little guy but these big bigger red top hongies are up for grabs I got the uh, zebra red top but yeah Go ahead let me know what you guys think or should i just add them all in here and call it a day i think they should be fine because i've had them all together before but just to be safe i want to go ahead and get rid of some of the big guys in my opinion but who knows well all right guys so i think that's probably going to be it for today's video though go ahead and drop in the comments and let me know what you guys think was today's grab a w or a l i'm thinking it was a w and also let me know what you guys think. Any suggestions on what I should do with that Redfin Borley eye. If I should put them in the 125 in my basement. Or the Starry Night tank. Which that's that tank right there. Oh, focus, focus, focus. Got a lot of red in there already. And I think he'd fit right in. But I think he'd also give that tank a nice little pop. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and subscribe for future updates and stay up to date with what I got going on in the fish room. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Peace.